Hey there everyone, Nabil6901 here and welcome to a brand new Avengers Infinity War Marvel Legends 6 inch action figure review. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the first figure in the Build-A-Figure line and it's my dude Captain America or Steve Rogers action figure. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, when we st started seeing people finding these online, um, I got really excited because for the first time I'm like, oh, seems like Hasbro like has kind of, you know, um, upgraded the way some of these characters look as opposed to their previous releases from the other movies, past Avengers movies, their own character movies, etc., etc. Um, and this definitely has some improvements, but it also still has its flaws. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the packaging first, and then we'll take a look at the figure and all that stuff. So uh, here we go. Alrighty, here is Captain America. Now let's take a look at the packaging. So at the top, it says the Build-A-Figure Thanos um, logo. You've got your ages four and up warning logo. At the very top, you have the Avengers logo, Legends series logo. At the bottom, of course, you've got the movie logo, uh, the character name, Hasbro logo. And then, of course, you get a big bubble, um, which you can see clearly the accessories that the figure comes with. On the sides, you get a uh, cool image of Captain America in some sort of running pose. On the other side, it's kind of the opposite thing. On the back, you've got an image of the prototype. Uh, you've got a bio on um, Steve. You guys can pause the video and read it. It's very short. And then the uh, Thanos Build-A-Figure, which looks pretty freaking awesome. And then the other figures in the wave. So basically, you get five movie figures um, in this specific wave, including the Build-A-Figure, of course. And then three comic book characters. Um, of course, you get the warning logo and other languages and all that stuff. That's pretty much it. Here's the barcode in case you guys need it. All right. Let's uh, open this figure up and uh, see what he has to offer. So here's my man, Captain America, or Steve Rogers, out of the packaging. Uh, quickly, let me show you the accessories that the figure comes with. Um, he comes with a pair of uh, fisted hands. But one left, one right. Um... And they're both without the uh, without the gloves, which is interesting because I thought they would have paired, you know given us one with a glove as well. Because I've seen in some uh, images that Entertainment Weekly and all that have released, and he does have a glove on his right hand too. So I don't understand why they didn't give him, you know, a, a, a pair or at least one right hand with a glove. But it's not a big deal. He also come with this. Wakandan shield, which is what I'm assuming that um, we've seen separated in half in uh, the trailer. Um, and I'm assuming this is the, like the complete shield. Kind of wish that it had a feature where you could um, separate it. That way you can put one on each side of his hands. Um, not a whole lot of detail. It's got like a nice shine to it. So I will give Hasbro that. Nothing detailed inside besides this. You can put it on either hand. I'll put it on him in a little while. And then, of course, he comes with the most important thing ever. The Thanos Build-A-Figure head. Which I'll talk about this more once I build the whole thing. But That's kind of cool. Alright, let's take a quick look at the figure. We're going to go over the articulation first, and then we'll take a look at uh, the details. Um, so Cap can move his head really high for people that like to you know have their figures posed high in some way shape or form he could look down that much of course he can rotate all the way through so that's cool his shoulders can go really high well about that much but it's high enough uh he has swivel bicep which is good swivel at the wrist also hinge so you guys can see clearly there okay he has the ab crunch which is really nice. I like that. Also has a swivel at the waist. Which is great. Hinged hips, which are about that much. You also have a swivel here. On the upper thigh. Uh, you have double hinged knees, like pretty much every Marvel Legend figure. Which is super great. Uh, you have swivel right up here. Which is also good at the top of the boot. Hinged ankles. Ankle pivot as well. 
So in terms of the articulation, man, it's uh, it's pretty solid. You know, there could be certain um, things that can make it better, but for the most part, I'm not complaining. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. So in terms of detail, um, it has its ups and downs uh, for sure. But I do think that Hasbro um, stepped up their game with uh, with this figure in particular. In my opinion, I've owned uh, every Marvel Legends. Uh, Captain America figure from the cinematic universe and I think this is definitely one of their better ones um, so they're using the the new face print technology I still don't see Chris Evans in it um, you know certain angles or whatnot you can you can definitely see that his likeness is somewhat there but it's nowhere near where I'm like oh yeah that's totally Chris Evans um, that's just my opinion some people you know will disagree and I totally get that I mean I do like his hairstyle his hair has a nice um, brown as well as his beard so they kind of captured a little bit of Evans's likeness now something I really like about the the uniform is they really and I guess you can sort of tell they really captured the nice texture of what his outfit would look like in real life um, and what we can tell from the movies it's got a really nice outfit look to it it's it the texture is nice um, of course, the star, it seems like he just completely ripped it off. Um, one thing that they m did miss from what I've seen in the shots, too. This is basically the Civil War outfit, just, you know, not taken care of. So, it's missing, like, the A's for Avengers on both of his shoulders ripped off. Because from the images that I've seen and analyzed, uh, that's the case. He's ripped them off. Um, but, I mean... In terms of the detail, it's pretty spot on. It's got the nice shades of dark blue, the grays, the reds. Uh, same with here. They're pretty much faded. Like, I like it. They faded the colors um, to make it look like it's, you know, it's definitely seen damage. It's it's worn out, um, damaged, of course. The belt's nice. The belt, it's 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 somewhat loose. If you play with it long enough, it... Um, It'll probably be loose like every other cap figure. Um, but yeah, definitely some nice um, detail. The boots are a, a nice shade of brown. And, you know, again, he's missing a glove here. He has his sleeves up, so that's kind of cool how they did that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with what Hasbro's done here. This side, you know, he has the gloves. Where he would normally hang his shield. Of course Hasbro's never really given us that option with the previous Captain America figures. Now really quickly, I really want to show you guys a comparison of the Civil War Captain America. This is SH Figure Arts. Um, definitely like my main line that I love co to collect. This is my definitive Captain America that I have in my collection. I want to show you some of the differences. Again, this is based off of the Civil War outfit. It to me, it seems like that's exactly what it is. Um, just, you know, worn and torn. It's it's just beat up. You know, Steve hasn't taken care of it. Blah, 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 blah. But you could tell the, that there's a bunch of similarities. Again, the detail. Let me zoom in really quickly. So bear with me for a minute, guys. Okay. So the detail here. It's, you know, it's got the black parts where it belongs and all that stuff. Again, the star is missing. You know, you've got the reds and whites down here. The belt pretty much seems the same. The pouches, obviously, since Marvel Legends, Marvel Legends, same with Star Wars Black Series compared to a figure arts. They're bulkier, they're bigger, um, they're more in that six inch scale line. Whereas figure arts, they're more, you know, they try to get more accurate to the movies, but they're also slimmer looking. And of course, more articulation, but that's a whole different subject. Um, but yeah, the belt texture, it's similar, it's close enough anyway. Um, uh, one thing that I was mentioning was the A for the Avengers logo, as you can tell. Steve doesn't want to stand right now. But anyway, as you can tell, he has the A here. You would think they would have made like a black spot here to kind of show that he did, you know, take off the logo like I've seen in images. Uh, same goes for this side. See what I mean? A little bit of a lighter brown for where the shield would normally hang. The back part. So just those little things, the side pockets, you know, 
they're 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 there on the Marvel Legends, but it's kind of like not as detailed, obviously, as the figure arts, and it's also missing some red on the side, like the figure arts one. Um, the boots, they're like a charcoal gray on the figure arts, whereas this one it's brown. If anything, if it's not compared, well, no, I was going to say maybe it would have been the Age of Ultron outfit. There are a lot of similarities between the Civil War and the Age of Ultron outfit, but there are differences as well. And, of course, I wanted to mention that the Chris Evans likeness, I mean, this one is pretty much dead on Chris Evans, you know, especially if you put him in, in different, um, um, you know, poses. You can definitely see the likeness a lot more and the hairstyles a lot more accurate and from what we've seen too he has his hair like slicked back in the trailer whereas this looks more like what he's had his hair in since the winter soldier film uh age of ultron civil war you know now he has longer hair and it's like brushed back right here it just looks more like that so all right guys so this pretty much wraps up my review i hope you guys have enjoyed it uh here's just kind of a quick comparison to the civil war uh bucky figure um, I, I want to say more or less if we stand them up straight, they're about the same height. Uh, Steve might be just a tad bit taller, which Steve should be taller because I know for a fact he is taller than uh, Bucky is, but you know, they kind of pose nicely and, um, really can't wait to see the movie and see what Cap's been up to since Civil War. Uh, it should be interesting. Um, but yeah, share, uh, share your comments guys by commenting down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review again. Uh, stick around because next I will be reviewing the Iron Spider-Man figure, uh, and then Proxima Midnight. And then of course, you know, I'm going to eventually, um, review the Build-A-Figure, uh, which is Thanos. Uh, so yeah, uh, give this video a nice like. Please subscribe to my channel for, uh, plenty more Marvel figure reviews i do plan to review my figure arts figures which i haven't um reviewed any of them at all uh and it's like my main focus uh or it has become my main focus for both marvel and star wars they're just much better quality and i like them a lot better than these marvel legends even though hasbro is stepping up their game with this new face print technology and even the detail on the figures like i talked about earlier you know, certain things could definitely be better on this figure, but it's definitely worth picking up and adding it to your Marvel Legends collection or even your Marvel figure collection in general um, or Cinematic Universe collection figure. But yeah, uh, make sure to um, follow me on my social media accounts, both Facebook and Twitter, at Nabil6901. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, take care.